According to the Innovative Democratic Alliance, the constitutional reform report must be revisited. Speaking at a press conference, political leader Dr. Denise Soyafat Angus pointed out several determinations in the report that she believes do not reflect the will of the people of Tobago, especially where self-governance is concerned. More in this report from Candice Jackson. After analyzing the final report from the Constitutional Reform Committee, IDA political leader Dr. Denise Soyafat Angus identified several alarming issues. She noted that the report's description of Tobago's quest for autonomy is the most egregious, stating that it comes from certain quarters on the island. This phrasing of certain quarters is dismissive and minimizes the widespread and long-standing desire for greater autonomy that has been consistently voiced by Tobigonians. By suggesting that these demands come from only certain quarters, the report implies that these are fringe views not representative of the broader Tobigonian population. Dr. Soyafat Angus highlighted that another troubling point is the report's indication that distinctive groups can no longer categorize the people of Trinidad and Tobago. The statement further trivializes the distinctiveness that Tobigonians hold there. It fails to recognize that our demand for self-governance is not merely about administrative changes, but about preserving and empowering our way of life beginning at the community level. On a broader national level, the IDA political leader expressed disagreement with the proposal to remove the special majority votes in Parliament. It means that on any given day, a majority of one over an opposition can decide to do anything they want to do to the people of this country and the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. The idea is calling for the constitutional reform document to be revised, particularly in areas concerning Tobago. Dr. Soyafat Angus stressed that this issue requires collaboration among all political parties. She expressed disappointment that Minority Leader Calvin Morris is aligning with the PNM's position on the matter. When he said that he endorsed the, 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 the report because it was a party position taken at his recent party's convention in Trinidad. Hmm. Where has he come back to the people of Tobago? She stated that no Tobagonian should support the constitutional reform report. Candace Jackson, Tobago Update, Television News.